a playground for architects. That's right. Here is Chongqing, where the city combines the pragmatism with the dramatic terrain. The incredible results can always get added to your must-see list. You can easily come across architectural surprises among Chongqing's deeply charming alleys and neighborhoods. Really, a metro going through the building. The straightforward character of Chongqing people is reflected in its architectural design. The metro going through the building is one of the most Instagrammable places in Chongqing. Almost every day, there are plenty of people come here to observe. And very interesting that they also come out with very good ideas to pose with the metro. It's a usual day in our usual neighborhood. What is unusual is the bridge we are on now. On one side, actually, it starts from the ground level, and after walking like tens of meters, the bridge just leads to the 13th floor of the residential building. From the bridge to look down is so vertical and challenging. I feel a little bit dizzy after seeing that. Um, this is like this bridge at the height of over 100 meters. It serves as a normal pass for the residents to walk in through every day to get to the ground level. Horizontal, totally. The multi-layers of bridges sprawling around the city is another vertical challenge, giving you the experience of city roller coaster. There are plenty of them, but actually you don't hear locals talk much about it. Find the backdrop for the Blade Runner for real. There isn't no reason why Chongqing's rail transit has gained its popularity all around China. The metro just coming from afar showcases the charm of the multi-dimensional city. Many say it's a cyberpunk city. How do you say about it? <laughs> <laughs>